And the first question is in the name of Jamie Lee Ross. Mr. Speaker. Jamie Lee Ross. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks what recent reports has he received about international market reactions to the potential whey protein contamination issue? Honourable Bill English. Mr. Speaker, the, local, la, the latest global dairy trade auction was held overnight. The first auction since Montero confirmed it was dealing with a potential whey protein contamination issue. The online auction is considered a barometer of international dairy prices, and Fonterra is the largest seller at the auction. The Global Dairy Price Index slipped a modest 2.4 per cent compared to previous, the previous sale two weeks ago. Uh, the total volume of products sold at the auction increased to over 60,000 tonnes, up from 38,000 tonnes two weeks earlier. The results confirm there has not been a material market impact on Fonterra's prices from the contamination issue, and the international demand for dairy products remains strong. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. How does the latest global dairy auction result compare with previous results? Honourable Speaker, Bill English. the 2.4% fall in prices is among the smaller price movements up or down. It has been described as relatively small or a mild fall in the wider scheme of things. At the previous auction, the price index increased 5% and price drops of over 5% occurred at auctions in May and June this year. Over the past year, the prices have increased by 73% and so prices for our dairy products remain at elevated levels. Maintaining those elevated levels, of course, uh, will require the current situation to be handled transparently and effectively. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jamie Lee Ross. What was the initial market analysis of the global dairy trade auction result, particularly with respect to indications of future market prices and demand? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Economist said that prices and demand for uh, longer term contracts for delivery from November were encouraging. Uh, both Fonterra share prices are up today and overall down less than 2% uh, since the Friday close. Uh, these indicate, the indications are that providing the issue of the potential contamination is handled effectively and transparently, the direct impact on the New Zealand economy can be contained. Question number two, Dr Russell North.